Okay, here we go again with another eBay lesson. Today we are going to look at doing a multi-variation listing. Um, multi-variation listing is where you have multiple choices of either colour or size. So today we're just going to look at doing a snow ski glove. So what I would generally do in this instance is try and find something that we've listed fairly similar and in this case we have actually listed these gloves before so the easiest thing here to do would be to create a similar listing. So we would just click on here to create a similar listing. Now um, a few things that I didn't point out in my other tutorial was our fixed price listings. We, we don't really ever sell anything by auction and I would suggest that I would possibly do those auctions if that was the case. So we always have a fixed price list in here. So once again we're going down to the item title and you know I think that we have fairly well described this item here in you know, on a previous occasion. So they're for kids. Actually the only thing that we're missing is the brand XTM kids swoosh snow ski winter Actually, these are gloves that we're doing, not mittens. There are sort of colours and the size range is extra small to large. So I think that pretty much um, describes how we're going to list that. Um, it might just be better to do it like that. Uh, and in here, it does give you the listing category. And down here it comes down to being able to put in these multi-variation listings. So let's click on this add edit variations and for today's exercise we will do this, we will create these variations from scratch. So we will just go in here to the variation generator. We're going to understand that we're going to lose those listings. So in this particular instance, I always find that it's easier to put the colour first and then it will, will show you what's available in those colours. So we'll go here to the colour and the colours that we have available for these gloves are um, pink. So sometimes the things will be in here. So pink, we have blue that we'll add, we have black that we will add and we have red that we will add. Now if that colour didn't exist you can actually put a custom colour in here so we could make up custom colour any colour you like. So you can put in anything there and you can add it to this side but in this like we obviously don't need it for this example so we'll just delete that. And we also want to create a variation for the size. So yes, we want an extra small, we want a small, we want a medium, and we want a large. Sometimes you might actually have to put those sizes in there. And just remember if it equates to a centimetre sizing, so say something like a helmet and there's a centimetre sizing, so we put extra small equals 55 centimetres or whatever the case may be in that instance because we don't, don't want people having to ring us to find out what what the size is. So we're going to generate those variations because that is what the variations that we need. And these swoosh gloves, the code number is 41401. So what this is the worst part of it is having to go down and put 41401. So the easiest way that I find to do this is to copy copy that and then just go over the top and control V which pastes pastes the um, the number over the top and unfortunately you just have to go through and do this for every single variation which is quite painful but it's quite it's going to be quite important for our future and the way that we want to import um, invoices directly into 
into QuickBooks or whatever other program that we're going to use. So this number is very important to get right and make sure that it's correct. So just taking out all these things here. Okay, so you can see we've got all the variations there. So the next thing to do is put in the price. So we're going to set the price, and on this occasion, they're going to be $19.99. So if you click up here and say set price, you'll see that it has populated all this price section here. And the next thing to do is to fill in the, um, the section here on the quantity. So if for example, you had eight across the board on everything. You could actually go into this set quantity thing here, put in eight, and it would populate eight into all these fields. But unfortunately, on this occasion, I don't have eight of everything. So I'm going to have to go through. Yes, I've got eight all in pink. Blues, I've got eight of everything. Now black, I don't have any extra small. And I have 16 smalls. And I have 16 mediums and I have 16 large and in red I do not have any extra small and I have 16 large so that has pretty much filled in I just noticed that I'd missed that there now the other thing that we need to do is go down here so the image display is when customers want to see what the picture looks like. So in this instance, they're going to look for the colour. So we're going to choose the colour as the image display. And it goes along and it's generated all those variations. So we're just going to change this wording here because remember it's quite important to change the wording. Um, and here, the you know obviously they're not mittens, they're gloves. Gloves are perfect for the age group 3 to 8. Um, this is a guide only. Sometimes we do that, but there's no real point to measuring the gloves. It's really just a best guess. And, you know, we can probably put this on here. Uh, there is no real science to the measurement of these gloves. It is a best guess scenario. Um, we have put some suggested age groups on the sizes. These are just suggestions only to our best guess as all kids have very varying sized hands that's the best we can do I think you know and I'd, I'd just say here age 5 age 6 age 7 age 8 and I mean that's even well you could even just go 5 Five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine. You know, and that's, I mean, as I said, it's only just a best guess, so that's the best we can do. This has got visit my eBay store on it, um, and these features, they should be, they should be up. Yeah, I don't suppose it matters. Um, keep, to keep their, uh, to keep them warm and dry. Because we want to make sure that gloves are going to keep them dry as well. So this is where I was talking about what image controls the um, the picture. So if we go here. And we want to show them what the pink glove looks gloves look like. It will actually show us here, and we can choose the pink glove. We choose the blue glove. 
when my computer decides it wants to work because it's very slow today. Blue glove. I've already uploaded these pictures to um, make things easier for myself so it's always a good idea to upload your images first and remember that those images have to be square so that's the other thing that we need to remember otherwise they display all kooky so we want it to be the best kind of uh, display so in the in the picture that we're going to use for the gallery we always try and use a picture that's got all the variations on the one picture so that people can actually see um, all the pictures of the gloves and then obviously go into the listing and choose whichever one that they they want so in this instance the gallery image which we always need to select is image number one which is the one of all the gloves together so always a good tool cancelled listing um, and as I've said in the past we obviously need to have the shipping tools here see this has got a domestic handling time of three days we always want that to be one day particularly with this as we've got it in stock the only difference to this domestic handling time would be any Cassin's product where obviously we've got to order it in and, and we don't have it in stock so that's the only difference. We have free postage here. And the only other thing that we need to look at to see if it needs changing is the return policy. Now this, as you can see, it's got the 14 days here. Um, and we always want it to be the 60 day exchange. So we're going we're gonna to just change that, load that profile, which will overwrite, overwrite the existing returns policy. So you can see that's 14 days there. Once we've we click that profile and uh, we scroll back down you'll actually see that it's changed to the 60 day profile and that these boxes have been populated so I think we're right to go with that, that listing and we just post it to eBay once again um, once that, that listing has been posted it's always a good idea to go back over to eBay and um, Hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll be there, back over to eBay and just actually put that code number in um, go to the active items and hopefully it'll appear there once again when my computer decides it wants to work because it's having a bit of a hissy fit today of all days when I don't want it to come on Still waiting. Okay, so Swoosh Kids Gloves, we have it here. And we want to change this custom label number to 41401 and save. And there we have the finished listing. So that is how to load multi-variation listings. Hope you got a lot out of that.